Welcome back, guys. Um, recently, I had one of our viewers ask about the Hot Corners feature within Linux. Um, and it was uh, Greg Keynes. And Greg uh, is has been using elementary OS and uh, was looking for a different distribution. Um, but he needed absolutely needed to have the Hot Corners option available. <clears throat> So I uh, don't use the Hot Corners feature on a regular basis and I wanted to find out what distributions uh, have the Hot Corners feature built in and what I realized after doing a little bit of research is that um, it's, it's basically a function of the Cinnamon desktop. although. It, it has been reported to be available um, as a plugin on some other distributions, but I believe the Cinnamon desktop environment um, has what Greg is looking for. So I recommended that he try uh, Linux Mint 17.3 Cinnamon, which is a very nice, stable um, distribution. However, in fairness um, to uh, Greg, I thought that he should be made aware of the Manjaro cinnamon um, because it's a wonderful distribution, a wonderful spin on Arch. And if you haven't yet tried an Arch distribution, this would be a really good starting place. Manjaro, as you, as you know, I am a big fan of Manjaro, and I believe that they put together a uh, top-notch uh, set of distributions or, or spins on Arch Linux, but they bring a lot of Manjaro proprietary features to the table, and I think they do a fantastic job. So I had not tried the Manjaro Cinnamon um, distribution. Uh, it is one of their community distributions. Um, so I downloaded it and this is what you see running here. Of course, as with most Manjaro, if not all Manjaro uh, versions, um, it installed flawlessly. Um, no problems at all. Everything is up and running. Terrific. I'm using GUVC View and Kazam. But I went ahead and installed everything that I normally install and I had no problems whatsoever. I've got Redshift, Synapse, Peace Sensor, Caffeine, Clipit. Uh, it's all running fine. Now the uh, in the bottom right hand corner in the system tray you've got all the standard features. The, the date and time, the calendar, uh, everything is is well represented no issues at all um, the the menu is the typical cinnamon menu although with the applets feature you can add different menus uh, I experimented with a few of the other menus um, and there's also a there are if you go online for example if you bring up the um, the system settings and click on applets um, it'll show you the installed applets and then uh, uh, applets available online so all the ones with a green dot are actually installed on this system um, you can see this is the this is the standard main cinnamon menu I tried menu plus it wouldn't install properly it's giving me a uh, an error message so some of the menu applets are not uh, compatible, but um, I'm sure you can, if you want a different menu, you can find <clears throat> a different one. I did find the Stark menu, which um, worked fine. It's a little bit more basic uh, menu listing. So um, what I did is I went back to the uh, standard menu um, this is the standard cinnamon menu. It's well laid out. Um, 
pe most people find it very intuitive, very easy coming from any other distribution or Windows. Uh, it's the standard cinnamon uh, distribution. Really, really nice. So you've got all applications, but then you can switch over to the categories. And uh, I installed pretty much everything that I usually install, but it came pretty full featured right out of the box. No problems whatsoever. Now, one of the uh, features that Greg was interested in is the hot corner feature, and that is this here. And I believe this is exactly what he was looking for. You can configure your the corners of your screen to um, basically enable, I guess they might consider to be macros that you can uh, initiate different types of um, processes when you move your mouse to a corner of the screen. So you can show all workspaces, show all windows, show the desktop, run a command. So <clears throat> it's pretty configurable and you can set it up exactly the way you like it. You experiment a little bit and it is a really nice feature and if you're used to using that of course, and you want, and you're going to change distributions. You want, I'm sure, you want to find something that has that feature. And uh, Manjaro Cinnamon um, has that feature, along with, I believe, most distributions that um, have the Cinnamon Desktop Environment option. <clears throat> so, if you want hot corners, basically, make sure that the distribution you're looking at has that cinnamon uh, desktop. Now I did read online where um, a version of Hot Corners, not specifically like this, but a version of Hot Corners can be enabled within XFCE as a plugin. And I have not experimented with that, but um, that might be, if you, if you really like XFCE and you want Hot Corners, you might want to take a look at uh, uh, downloading and enabling the plugin for XFCE. It will give you a version of Hot Corners, not exactly like this, but it's a uh, it's a version of Hot Corners that you can implement within XFCE. So um, that takes care of uh, Greg's uh, issue. Um, I have recommended to him either Linux Mint Cinnamon or Manjaro Cinnamon. Now, to move on to the Manjaro uh, Cinnamon review, as I said, everything is running fine. Now, let's take a quick look at something here. Um, as you can see, you've got all of the uh, normal system settings available. But one thing I, I liked, within the themes, they uh, have the vertex theme, uh, buttons, window borders, and desktop. It's got the Maya uh, uh, icons, uh, and I checked, and the, the vertex icons are not available. but you can see that it's a very nice flat black um, desktop theme. I really like Vertex. I like the icons also, but these icons also work fine, a little bit more colorful than the Vertex. So uh, I like the choice of themes. Uh, there are a variety of backgrounds. This is the stock one that you're looking at, the cinnamon. But these are the, the other Manjaro that come available. Then you've got the default. Then there are a series of other backgrounds available, some very nice ones. And then you've got the plain Adwaita default background. So it's got quite a bit of uh, theme configuration options built in. Um, but you can add your own, of course. Window effects, I don't have enabled at this point in time, but I may uh, because I am going to leave uh, Cinnamon running on my hard drive for the time being, just to take a better look at it. Uh, everything else, uh, there are applets 
and desklets. Uh, you, you've got your desktop configuration as far as your icons. There are extensions which I haven't looked at. Uh, nothing installed, and but there are a ton of uh, available extensions and I don't normally use extensions unless I'm running the GNOME desktop so um, I'm not really familiar with all of those uh, extensions but they're they're there if you uh, want to experiment with them uh, let's see on general you can disable compositing enable a timer so you've got all the standard configuration options, panel configuration, preferred applications. I went ahead and changed some of them. I still have Firefox and Thunderbird but, uh, and LibreOffice, but I, uh, I normally use SM Player. Actually, for music, no, we'll leave it at VLC. Video SM Player, no Macs for photos. So uh, I changed some of the preferred applications. And let's see. There is a standard screensaver, startup applications. I configured everything. The only one I had to add, I think, was Clip It. Everything else had an option to add to startup. Um, workspaces. Um, there's a nice little feature where it brings up all four and you can you can uh, switch between them. Hardware, power management, printers, sound, everything works fine out of the box. I haven't added my printer yet, but I'm sure uh, I won't have any issues with that. So those are the those are the settings, the system settings. Now if I go into the Manjaro settings, let's take a look at that. And I think it's in administration preferences. Okay, so first of all, uh, when I installed Manjaro Cinnamon from the USB, it gave me an option to install with non free drivers which I did, which meant that it automatically configured my NVIDIA, as you can see, 352.63. This, I didn't have to do anything. Because I installed with the non-free drivers option, it picked up my NVIDIA card and configured it properly. I could have installed with the default option instead of the non-free, in which case it would have set up my system for the Nouveau driver, and I would have had the option to change in the Manjaro settings. But since I installed with non-free, I didn't have to go through that. Now let's take a look at the Manjaro settings. The kernel uh, the, is running the recommended kernel, which is 4.1.13. Long-term support, it is running, it is recommended. Okay, so the only other thing that I, I did update language packages, I ran a full update on the system, and for hardware detection, as I mentioned, I uh, installed with the non-free option, which automatically picked up and installed NVIDIA. It did, it also um, gave me the option for open source, the Nouveau, um, but because I installed with the non-free option, it defaulted to the NVIDIA driver. You can switch that up here, auto install open source. Um, if I had installed with the standard default option, this would not have been checked, but it would be available, in which case I would only have to click on auto install prior, proprietary driver and it would have switched over to NVIDIA. It's a very nice system and it works 
at least in my experience, it, it wor it's worked all of the time. Okay, so that is your Manjaro settings. The rest of it, I don't uh, change anything. I just leave it on the default. Uh, so guys, that is the Manjaro cinnamon. Uh, I like the look of it. It's set up very nicely. I think it's intuitive. It's well laid out on the menu. Uh, I don't ordinarily use the cinnamon desktop. I prefer either Mate or XFCE, but in this case, it is very nicely done. Uh, you've got your files, terminal, settings, browser, so there's everything uh, on this left panel. All the common items are easily accessible. And then you've got all of your applications by category. It's extremely well done, as is usually the case with Manjaro. And so if you have been thinking about trying Arch, uh, the Manjaro um, spin on Arch is always nicely done. So guys, that is uh, today's review. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe as always. And I will see you soon. Take care.